Hey everybody, so this is my most requested video. I put up a little story saying ask me any questions for an updated Q&A, so I figured I would get going on that. So I put together some questions that I felt comfortable answering or questions that I saw most people were asking about, um, so we'll get right into it. What do you do to stay in shape? Which is like my most asked question. I try to eat really healthy. I don't have like a strict diet, which I'll get more into that because that's another question what my diet is. But I don't really have like a strict diet. I just try to eat as healthy as I can naturally. I've always just eaten healthy. I enjoy healthier foods like vegetables, fruit, beans, all that type stuff that I actually enjoy. I don't like have to force myself to eat that way. But I mean, I do like to splurge and have like pasta, pizza, like everybody else um, so it definitely is hard but to stay in shape I would definitely say I do go to the gym six days a week and I do an hour of cardio six days a week so that helps me stay in shape for sure um, sometimes I actually like to indulge in food like brownies or cookies or something and then I just tell myself like I'm gonna work out extra hard the next day if I'm gonna eat like that so I would say that to stay in shape I just go to the gym and I make sure I get my cardio in because that's the most important is cardio Give this a thumbs up if you want me to just get right into it. The juicy questions. Okay, so how old are you? My birthday was in November and I turned 23 years old. How did I grow on social media so fast? When I was in high school, I had just like a couple thousand followers and I think the way I got so big on Instagram was meeting Roman. Um, he had a couple hundred thousand and when we met, he just kinda was posting me, tagging me. We traveled a lot to Kauai, Hawaii, um, Costa Rica together with my family and then just us two and we started making like couple type videos and just like vibey like on the beach, bathing suit, stuff like that. He kept tagging me and tagging me and then I was reposting the same type stuff he was posting and a bikini brand called Boutine LA uh, reached out to me on Instagram and pretty much just asked like hey would you be willing to shoot with us and I was like so nervous because I only shot with Roman or like my mom and sister would take photos of me so I was so nervous I was like oh my god like I'm not a model like I don't know how to pose like my body you know like every girl is very self-conscious I talked to my mom I talked to Roman and they're like do it like it's, it was a huge platform um, I think now they have like a couple of million followers so I did it I was like I'm gonna do it. We ended up shooting. They did like a two hour shoot with me. He ended up, po they, their, the page ended up posting a bunch of bikini pictures and videos. I think you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen like those old boutine pictures I used to post and videos and stuff like that. Um, so they started posting that, tagging me, and then I just grew. Workout routine. So I'm gonna do an at home workout routine for everyone in another video to kind of make it like more of like a workout video instead of like a QA and a what I do. But like I said, I just do a lot of cardio, but um, going into like working out, I'll do it at home or at the gym with Roman video of what I do at the gym. Do you use a waist trainer? It's not really a waist trainer. It's called a waist trimmer, I believe. It's called Sweet Sweat. They're on Instagram. Um, it's kind of like a wetsuit material. It's like this big and you just like tie it really tight. Um, without oil or anything on your skin. You can put oil if you want to sweat more, but I don't. I just put it straight on my bare skin, on my stomach. I do it really tight and I usually walk a pillar run and that definitely trims the the size of your waist for sure. But I've always had like a pretty small waist just naturally. Um, how long have Roman and I been together? We have been together for, I would say four years. And let's see, so diet. So for diet, kind of like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna go into more detail because that's like the most frequent question I get asked all the time on my Instagram and YouTube and all of the platforms I have. Um, so I definitely wanna talk more about that. But for diet and workout routine, I would just say lots of cardio, try to eat healthy. If you're gonna splurge, work out extra hard the next day. And I do go to the gym six days a week, every single week. I've been working out since about 11th grade of high school. I joined um, Total Woman, which is an all girls gym and I've been going there since. So I do work out six days a week and then out of those six days, I also, on top of that, work with a personal trainer three times a week. So on average, I do about nine workouts per week, if that makes sense. So I do like an hour of personal training three times a week on top of an hour of cardio the same day. What's your favorite post-workout snack? 
but I definitely go for a protein shake. I use the protein powder called Pure Protein, um, the vanilla flavor, and I mix that with a half a frozen banana, a scoop of peanut butter, ice water, and a scoop of the protein powder. Um, skincare routine. For those who don't know, I am a licensed esthetician, so I do a bunch of skincare and body treatments and waxing and stuff like that. So for skincare, I am on a skin regimen by Jan Marini. Um, I've been on that routine for about two years. I absolutely love her line and it just works for my skin. Um, but I do take off my makeup every single night if I end up wearing makeup and especially after shoots, I make sure I take it off and apply her skincare routine. It's amazing. It's definitely worth it and whoever has questions, just leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions about the skincare. Next question. What is my favorite place to travel? That's really hard. So. I've been to Fiji, um, Tarua with my family when I was like 13. Almost nothing beats that, but I would say other than that is probably Hawaii. I just grew up going there and I took Rome when we first started dating with my family and it was absolutely amazing. Um, I love anything tropical, so like Mexico, Costa Rica, anywhere to get away from LA. What's your favorite food? So my favorite food, I love fruit, like any type of fruit, papaya. Absolute favorite. Um, watermelon favorite, but my favorite food food is like probably pasta with like olive oil, garlic, tomato. I love that. How do you portion control your food? So I don't really aim to portion control. Um, I do try to meal prep the um, days of the week I do work because usually when I'm out on location shooting with companies, they're ordering me food, which is amazing, but sometimes I'm a little bit picky, um, so I like to meal prep. So I kind of just portion control based on the Tupperware size. And by now I kind of know how much I like to eat, you know, with staying full um, and not overeating. So I don't mean to portion control. I just kind of eat until I'm full. I don't really like eat when I'm not hungry. Favorite workout is cardio. I don't love doing cardio, but I love the way it makes me feel. I love the endurance, it gives me the heart rate, the sweating, and just how many calories I burn. I just feel so good leaving, and I would say cardio makes me feel the best. Um, favorite color? My favorite color to wear is probably red or like baby pink, but my favorite color like for the house um, or decorating and stuff is probably like white, black, gray. I just like simple. Okay. Next question, do I get spray tans? Okay, so this is a question everybody asks me, do I get spray tans? So I've actually never gotten a spray tan. Self tanner, I have tried the Bali Body self tanner, which I've posted on my Instagram, which I really like that. It's like a mousse, so it goes on nice and smooth. But I don't use it, I try to stay naturally tanned by just getting natural sunlight. And if I feel really pale, I will go in a tanning bed but it definitely isn't as good for you. I mean, some people will argue and say it's the same as laying in the sun, but I don't really like the feeling of like the UV rays like right next to me in a bed. So I try to stick with just um, natural vitamin D in the sun, it's amazing, but obviously when it's, the sun isn't shining and I can't tan, um, I will go in a tanning bed to stay nice and tan. What career would I choose before modeling? So like I said, I graduated in 2014 and I finished two years of college. I got into Cal State Channel Islands right out of high school, which is a four-year university. And I was studying pre-nursing because I've always, like all of high school, I worked with children. So I worked at like the YMCA, childcare, all four years of high school. And I just, I loved like either wanting to be a teacher, help children, anything with hospital, maternity ward. So I decided I wanted to go into pre-nursing. A year and a half in, it was so hard for me and just like juggling like my relationship with Roman and that's about the time I met him. But my career before modeling was definitely going to be something along the lines with helping people, working with kids. I love kids, I love people. So then I got into modeling and turned all around. But that would be what I would do if the modeling didn't happen or if the modeling comes to an end, I would definitely go back. What ethnicity are you? So I'm like a mix of a few things. So I'm Italian, Native American, English, and a little bit of Irish. Okay, and so for the last question, the question that everyone has been asking, breast augmentation. When I got it done, why, what size, and what size was I before? So when I posted on my Instagram story saying that I was gonna do an updated Q&A, that was like the first question that's just like boom, 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 coming through my, um, direct messages. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna 
tell everybody. I'm just gonna talk about it. I get this question all the time and I wanna help the girls who maybe wanna get it done. Um, so let me just start off by saying, when I was 18 years old, I got a breast augmentation. So I was just graduating high school. And back then, before Instagram fame, before a bunch of girls were getting a breast augmentation, I did get it done. I didn't do it for any other reason but for myself. And I am 23 now, so I have had them for five years. I just felt like for my body proportion, I always had like a little bubble butt and flat, like you're at, so for the people asking what size was I before, like flat, like nothing. Whatever someone wants to do to make them feel better, I say do it. Like it, at the end of the day, it's you're your own person and I wouldn't really care what anyone else thinks or wants to say. I know it's really hard in today's society of like judging and stuff like that, but I definitely did it before all the Instagram fame, before it was even on Instagram. I got 300 cc's, which is a full C for bra size. Um, and I did get saline, which is like salt water. You guys can look more into it for those who are interested in all of this. But that's pretty much it. So for those who have been asking for years, there you go. But anyways, show me what kind of videos you want down below. And make sure to check out all the other videos um, on our page. And we really appreciate it. We're so grateful to get back on YouTube and have as much support from you guys. So it means a lot. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos.